Lab Talk, Lab Talk, Lab Talk, episode 20. I know it's episode 20 because I checked. So get off my bumper about that. Um, I guess I smoke too much weed, so <laughs> sometimes I'm just not on it. Um, but this is Lab Talk episode 20. Seems like 20 episodes kind of crept up fast. Seems like we'll get to 50 pretty quickly. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Everybody has checked out a premiere or even just commented on an episode. I greatly appreciate you. So this episode, I want to talk all things DJ Vlad. Um, Vlad obviously is in and out of the news every now and then for um, disputes that he may have with guests that he's had on the show or regular guests that he's had on the show. Um, And also for people getting in trouble with the law. A lot of people seem to think that Vlad is a a culture vulture and somebody that uh, has has infiltrated the culture um, on behalf of law enforcement. And so... I kind of want to talk about that because I feel like you guys will have a different opinion than I do. So recently, an artist from Brooklyn, his name is Casanova. He was indicted on federal charges. I'm not exactly sure what the charges were, but I know they're tied to some sort of RICO. And um, yeah, he's facing some real time. And a lot of people feel like his interview on DJ Vlad contributed to his indictment. And I kind of want to talk about that. So let's talk about Vlad a little bit. Vlad is a DJ... Um, Been a DJ for over 20 years, I believe, within hip-hop culture. Um, Started in the, you know, mixtape DVD era and kind of transformed his platform to be more of an um, an interview slash journalistic platform. I guess you could say that um, if you take the interviews away and you just kind of look at the journalism side of things, you can kind of, um, I guess, compare his site to like a hip-hop DX or a shade room or something like that. But it also has an interview platform where he interviews, I mean, who's who of, of, from everywhere. But the majority of his guests on his show are from rap music or from hip hop culture. So I want to talk about this whole Vlad being an informant thing. So I personally don't think Vlad is an informant in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I think Vlad is very similar to people that I've met in my time who are not of the culture, but are very fascinated with the culture and fascinated with the things that they like to see from afar, but not necessarily touch. So I'm pretty sure you've been around someone in your life that has asked you unnecessarily about um, crime that you've maybe either witnessed or been a part of because this is kind of their window into being able to understand Um, how people like this behave, how people like this operate, how people like this tick, why they do what they do. Because this individual will probably never do these things, would never be in in a space to where these things would happen, and would never have the mentality to do these things. And I think it comes from wild fascination. And Vlad does ask very, very, very edgy questions. You know, Vlad will sit in front of his guests and say, what is the craziest thing you've ever seen? Or um, what is the craziest thing you've ever been a part of? Or have you seen someone get murdered before? Or what's the craziest thing you've seen in your neighborhood? And I feel like this comes from his, from that space, from the person I just kind of, um, you know, described. From a person that's just really intrigued with, you know, the way that people in this world function and they kind of just want to know um, why they do what it is that they do. And they want to get as close as they can without getting hurt. And I will say this. I have definitely raised my eyebrows at certain questions that Vlad has asked because I feel like it gets redundant over time because Vlad asks almost every young artist from Chicago or Baton Rouge or any places in the country where there tends to be... Um, a lot of a lot of violence. He always asks them about that. And he tends to bring people on his platform that have been either victims of or have been the perpetrators of violent acts. And I get where people kind of feel that way um, about him. Now, this is my issue with us. My issue with us, and when I say us, I'm talking about hip hop culture black folks that are on the platform, because these are primarily black folks, us, that are making these charges against DJ Vlad, right? 
And this is my issue with it. When do we take our own personal responsibility for the things that we say and for the things that we do? Vlad isn't holding the gun to anybody's head saying that they must be on that platform. People are reaching out to him and asking him to be on the platform, and I'm sure he does his, his amount of recruiting as well. So I'm not understanding why this platform has to be a springboard for somebody to be on for their career to move forward. There are plenty of other springboards in the culture. And number two, I'm not sure why everybody that goes on that platform, and I want to, you know, let me fall back. Let me not say everybody, why some people are so forward with Vlad in regard to the law-breaking things that they've done. I'm not the cleanest guy in the world in regard to um, things that I've done in the world. I just kind of got a little lucky and didn't get caught. However, I'm not going to be on nobody's platform. I wouldn't do it on Lab Talk. I wouldn't come on here and just overtly discuss crimes that I've committed. That's crazy. And I don't care how big or small. I'm not telling you about jaywalking, and I'm not telling you about anything else. And what I'm not getting is why artists feel like they need to go on there and prove a point and stick their chest out. If, if you're going on Vlad to promote yourself, your brand, your music, what you're doing, why don't you just go there and do that? When Vlad asks you these questions in regard to crimes you've committed or things that you've seen or witnessed or been involved in, why don't you just say no comment and move on the same way you would to the police? Or why not just not go on the platform at all? Vlad has had some great guests on there as well. Um, he's had, you know, Lord Jamar and I believe Talib Kweli was on there and He's had a gang of dope, super dope guests on there that I've learned a lot about um, because I am an avid, avid watcher of the platform. But I'm not understanding how we don't take responsibility for the things that we say. So let's bring up or let's circle back to the cast and over thing. Um, I watched that interview because I'm a fan of cast. I really am. And he said some things on there that I was kind of like. I don't know if that was good to say on there. Um, and now it seems as if he's paying for it. So I want to ask you guys as I kind of conclude this episode, do you feel like the responsibility is on the person who's asking the question or the person who's, ask or who's answering them? I'll say it again. Do you feel the responsibility is on the person who's asking the question or the person who's answering them? I personally feel that it's the people that's answering them and the people that decide to go on that platform. You guys weren't subpoenaed to be there. Vlad isn't really a police officer. But you guys are acting like you are. And I don't understand that. So that is episode 20. I do want to tell you guys that I am going to be doing a long-form interview with a really good long-term friend of mine who also happens to be my engineer and kind of like my co-producer on all the music shit that I've been doing for like the last 15 years. So um, in 2021, Lab Talk um, will consist of these long-form interviews being broken down into segments. Some of the things that I'm going to discuss on here are things that I've never discussed before. And no, it won't be about crimes I've committed. But it'll be about things I've never discussed before, things that I feel like people should know, and things that I feel like people um, have been asking me for like the last 15, 20 years. So we're going to go through um, childhood. We're going to go through, you know, from there to when I started music and all through my music career, all the artists that I've worked with, how relationships are now today, um, and even some personal things that affected the artistry. So that's going to become... Um, a segment of Lab Talk pretty soon, I'd say within the next month. So look forward to that. I'm really interested to get your feedback there. And um, other than that, man, I wish you guys a happy holiday, man, regardless of what you celebrate, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, or anything else. Have a great holiday. And um, we'll see y'all next week. Lab Talk, episode 20. Peace. Got a click full of shooters mm -hmm.